Uh, my name is Michael Grassi. I am part of the media committee for Occupy New Hampshire and Occupy the New Hampshire primary. Uh, today is Monday, uh, the day before the uh, primary is to take place in New Hampshire. And uh, we've been getting a lot of press for our events that have taken place at uh, GOP candidate events and locations. So we're trying to spread the spread out the message a little bit by hitting a uh, a Democrat target. And I'm sorry. So we're on our way to stage a die-in, which is kind of like a sit-in, except instead of just sitting down, people kind of drop dead very theatrically. And uh, I believe they're going to be revived by Occupy, is that correct? Yes, the democracy will be revived. I appreciate that. Can we, can we come in? Well, right now we have volunteers at work and we want to Perfect. make sure that. Yeah, that's the best time. Give us, give us, give us 10 minutes and we can what say how cooperative the, and, and nice you guys yeah. were and when, it, when, the, when, it, when we're we get our place. Make ways. We're happy to listen to the message here. So well, let's go inside and talk about the message. A, yeah, we do have a demonstration. We have a, we I, want I'm ha happy to do that here. Okay, cool. And who are so, you? Should we die in on Captain the steps? Should we die in on the steps? New Hampshire or from Perry? New Hampshire. Yeah. Perry, what do we do? Die in on the steps? Yeah. Let's die in. Alright, start yeah, it. All right. up. Well then, we're gonna... Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate, but alright. So yeah, <laughs> we're not. here to deliver a message to President Obama, and this is one that should resonate strongly with the people Let's of go. New Hampshire. And that message is live free or die! Unfortunately, the American people are no longer able to live free and govern ourselves. Our government has been occupied by Wall Street and no longer serves the 99% it is supposed to serve. These people who lay before you represent the voices of all those that no longer have a say in the electoral process. They have been systemically disenfranchised and thanks to a tidal wave of Wall Street money unleashed by the Citizens United ruling, that has flooded into the campaign chests of both Republicans and Democrats, including President Obama, their voices have been completely silenced. Our Congress is now able to pass unconstitutional laws in favor of Wall Street and the 1% with the full support of the executive and judicial branches, even as they actively undermine and block laws that would help the 99% and impose cuts to necessary social services. We demand an end to corporate personhood because these entities do not deserve the rights of humans. We demand full public financing of campaigns so citizens can choose candidates based on their morals and integrity, not on their ability to raise funds by selling out to Wall Street. And we demand that President Obama and all other presidential candidates stop taking Wall Street cash. We are not leaving until we can speak with President Obama and express our concerns in the same way as we would with any other candidate. And the fact that we have been locked out here on the street is just further proof that they have no interest in hearing our voices, no interest in hearing our message. They want us out here to be ignored. We're here to be respectful, but, we, but we've been ignored. Our voices have been silenced for so long. We just want someone to come out here and talk to us as people. We want to call with Obama. We, we, we li we'd like to come inside and talk as people because it's cold out here. We understand. It's Jeff. Who are you? I'm Pete. And what's your position here? I'm the general election director. I'm sorry? General election director. You're the general election director. Is that for just for New Hampshire or is that for country? For New Hampshire, okay. Okay. Um, as, as I said, we have uh, three simple demands. Um, uh, we demand an end uh, to corporate personhood. We want an amendment to the Constitution uh, to end that ability because corporations are not people and they should not have the right, same rights of people. We also want full public financing of campaigns so that uh, candidates can actually work on talking to people and people can choose their candidates based on their morals and their integrity and not their ability to raise the most money by selling out to Wall Street demands. And finally, we want President Obama to stop taking Wall Street money and to take all the money that he's gotten from them and really all Democrats to take all the money that they've gotten from Wall Street and uh, invest it in poor communities and not use it on their campaigns.
I appreciate you hearing the concerns and we certainly pass them along. Come on. Isn't Obama campaign on the fact that the first thing he would do as president would be end the war? He has uh, the war, so. the end the war yeah. Afghanistan. Only to start it, only to start it. It's people's job, okay, to change the government if the government stops listening to that. Yeah, and therefore, we're here because it's our duty as American citizens to make sure that this is a good country for us and for our future generations. All right? And we feel like the decisions that are being made up there benefit a very small portion of people. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. And I'm telling you, your Charisma voice has only been goes heard. so far. No, but no, how has my voice been heard? My voice has been heard only by you. Yeah, and we'll be past the make a call, let them decide whether they want to communicate with us or not. I don't think you're... What? See, this is the problem Barack with bureaucracy. Obama's There's too many doors that are locked. Uh, sure, 50% of the people there actually voted for Obama. He has been an absolute disgrace. Uh, He's a warmonger, a corporate profiteer. A bankster and everything with a bit, a little bit more charisma than you, sir. But still, his policies are the continuation, <laughs> and his campaign message was change. But he brought same, whether foreign policy, economic policy. You see, that's why people are out here. I ask them to raise their hands if they voted for Obama. And I guess the other thing we need, if we are going to have to trust you on this, is that we need a deadline where, where we can get a response back from someone, from one of the people that I listed, you know, that our message has been heard. Sure you can. No, you can. Why? This is, Why would I, I can't guarantee that. Well, well I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Can somebody hand this to you? Mary, we'd like a response. We'd like a response by tomorrow, or we're going to take this as a lie from you, which is a lie from President Obama. Since you're refusing to go up the chain, well, we'll have to assume it's speak for him. So Sorry, that's what we have to assume. Yeah. Otherwise, go up the chain. No one's stopping you. You have no guidelines telling you not to. You're making a decision based on what? I don't know. Whoever's live streaming this says they should live stream it on Facebook. We're going to get more This is going far and wide, man. I wouldn't they make this decision if I were you. I'd put it up the chain. They want the link to my Yeah, I think they want the link. Do you know who I should send that to? Uh, say it. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, they're right. Yeah. That's our message. We already told it to you. Like, go take it to Obama. Like, All right, what are you doing? Like, like, go that take is, it to him. Uh, that is the deadline. Don't have to give it to you. Die at the end. Like, you know, at like, U-S-T-R-D. Dot A. A little bit more. Flash. Capital G. Lowercase Q. Zero. Lowercase P. Go. And uh, that will link you directly to the stream so you can put it on Facebook or Global Revolution. Okay. And what pushed you to get involved? Uh, because I think there's the potential for a, a mass-based movement that really looks at the issues that affect all Americans. I mean, the 99 percent, it doesn't matter if it's poverty or environment or workers' rights. Um, but one of the main reasons, one of the structural reasons, is the influence of corporations and the 1 percent on the political process. And I'm really angry that um, Obama um, came into power and then appointed all Wall Street cronies to, to run the financial system. And every time, and so there's no difference between the Republicans and the Democrats around finances and economic issues, mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, and should I just get uh, <laughs> uh, the David Plough. Uh, David Plough. Uh, uh, Go, 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 Excuse me. Oh, okay. Thank you. 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 A person that walked right past you to go ask one point in question, come back with the response. Can we just okay, wait for that? Okay, but he doesn't own the building. But okay. he, he's with the Obama campaign. And we've asked him a specific one small question. 
and he said he would get the answer and come back. He okay. just asked her. All I know is the owner of the building wants you folks to leave the premises. All right, if you don't do that, you can all be subject to arrest. Gary. At least one of them. Gary. <clears throat> would you like to pick a representative to remain with me? Who would like That's to remain with me? All right, what do we want to do, folks? And wait, one, wait, wait, one wait. camera, you know, just to document it. Yeah. Sir, did you need to get in with them? Are you with them? No. Oh. Do you want to stay? To get the answer? No, I don't have a good answer. Speak loud. You should say you should get the answer. What's the temperature check, folks? Uh, Listen, I'm, I'm more than one. If somebody wants to stay and wait for that answer, that's fine. But in the meantime, the owner of the building would like you folks to leave. So, in an effort to work with you folks, if someone would like to remain here with me, one person, Wait for the answer, you can pass it on, the rest of you guys can leave. I had a question. We How's could go right there, though. Right that would be the sidewalk, that would be public property. Yeah, and the, the person who's coming out with their response can certainly walk over to there and give you the response. Do we have a temperature check on, on on leaving representatives here to get the response? Or can we could wait right on the sidewalk. You can sure you can walk we can wait in the public public area. Yeah. Love morning. Right. No. Right. We could this wait on the sidewalk. Personally, this is later. Sure. Yeah. 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 Right here. On behalf of the Occupy movement. We will restore the voices of the people to life. Through mass mobilizations and creative nonviolent resistance, the people will be heard again. The system is now on notice. Put people before profits and communities before corporations or prepare to be occupied. Rise up and revive democracy. Yeah. Woo! Hip, hip, right? Woo! Hip, hip. <laughs> Hey, do you want to say anything about uh, how you felt you were treated? Oh, he's just, he's just, um, the whole, the, the whole, uh, everyone who came out was just smug. They were just smug and dismissive. You would ask them questions, point, very pointed questions, and they would uh, kind of smirk and look the other, look off into the sunset like they didn't have to answer you. I mean, that's the type of people that, that he's hiring to staff his campaign, and I mean, you know, come on, there's got to be some sort of vetting process, like are you a human, are you able to sit down and listen to constituents and like understand what they want, or, or is this just like a Walmart, get your shit and go, like give me your vote and get, or get, and get, get out, or, we don't care about that. Three times, ask the pointed questions, oh, I will, I will be right back, and did not even come back. Call the cops. Just sit there smug and laughing and laughing and at people's the questions. Cops, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're taking you up, and then the cops show up. Like, I guess this is going upstairs, you know. So it's. I mean, I think it's typical. Yeah. Just another example of, 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 of those, property rights. Those wooden men over there, to, to you know. Defend, uh, and, 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 and squash the voice and said, "Oh, the owner said it. Get off. Get off. Go. Go." In the way that that representative behaved was like, uh, you know, like uh, just smug. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it it really, you know, we struck a chord because the person who happened to be on, on site to deal with us had a horrible attitude. You know, he wasn't conciliatory at all. He, it didn't create a situation of like, oh yeah, blah, 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 we hear you. He didn't even bother to BS us. He just came out with like, and acted disgusted with us, which uh, is actually probably more genuine than, than, than a lot of other people have treated us. So come out and said, you know, well, you understand you, we hear you. The candidate feels the same way. You know, he just basically, you know, flipped us the bird with his attitude, and you know, that's a little, that's a little real. Yeah. I didn't record that, but oh. you, you seem to have handled it very well. Well, I think if we keep an open dialogue with people, we're able to resolve some issues. Great, and. Uh, are you satisfied with how uh, how this ended? So far, I'm not quite certain if it's over yet, but hopefully okay. it is. So, uh, how do you feel that that all turned out? Now walking away from it. Now walking away from it, I'm happy that it didn't escalate into something that would have turned into a negative press event. We made our point. We there was some uh, some tension there for a little bit. There was. A couple of people. There are, well, people feel very strongly about these issues, so to be in New Hampshire a day before the primary and have the opportunity, you know, to make this statement heard while the national media is around, uh, that opportunity doesn't come too often, so you know, people get tense. They want to uh, maybe do things that they wouldn't normally do. They want to be heard. That's right. Thanks, Mike.